Hello everybody and welcome back to another Let's Play Resident Evil 6 with Shelly. Hello everyone. We are so close to the end guys, I can feel it. Um, in our last episode we pretty much uh, managed to get off the tower and we're trying to make it over to the helicopter, but giant Weevil Knievel Simmons is keeping us from <laughs> yeah, getting there. Relentless. So let's see if we can maybe beat this game. I mean, meet this campaign. Oh, relentless Simmons. How I despise and loathe you. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. Let me count the ways. <laughs> Alright, I... Let me count the ways and if I will stab you. Exactly. Speaking of stabbing... As long I'm... as he's airborne, we're not going anywhere in that chopper. I'll just get in if I'm gonna let him stop us. I'm gonna clear Go out... Tear out these boxes here. Clear out these zombies. Gotcha. Alright, great. Take over. Okay. Come on, ugly. Open wide. Come on, Simmons. No, you want to. It's your old pal Leon. Something to give you. Ooh, 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 ooh. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Zombie, get off me. Shoot, zombie, you bother me. Gosh. Zombie died. I was gonna stick him with it. It's okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, here's There's one. another one right there. Enjoy. Good Leon. Good Leon. Get up, Leon. Get up. Yes. That's what I want to see. Ooh, ooh, get off of me! Zombies. Come on, Leon. Take down that leg. Awesome. Yes! Yes. Take that next, down the next leg. Oh, yay, he's taking the guy. Good, good, good. Is he open? Come on, open up. Oh, wait, there's another leg. 
There we go. Come on, open up. There we go. Mm. Yes! Oh, great. Ooh, yes, he took that one. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, perfect. That's what he wanted to take. Oh, Charlie, I think this is it. Oh, wow. I think this is it. Oh, beautiful. How lucky was that? I know. Oh no, Leon! Leon! Alright. Gotcha, you bastard! Head for the chopper! The floor is stable! Where's the chopper? Head for the chopper. Head for the chopper! He did, yeah, he did. <laughs> he actually said the line. Awesome, Leon. <laughs> All right, forget this. Let's go. Let's I get am the hell done. Out of here. I am done with this. Don't tell me I have to. I have to pilot this thing now. Elena! Oh. I didn't know it took two people to open a chopper oh. door. But are you kidding? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! No, no, no. Oh shit! Shh. My thoughts exactly. You punk. No, 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 not our chopper. Defeat the. Ooh. Oh, what's oh, this? Crap. I just nice. picked up a rocket launcher. I did too. Well, hello oh, there. Nice. Umbrella symbol. Yeah, I think that is the Neo Umbrella symbol. Mm -hmm. That is very poetic. And it's dying at red, which is the original Umbrella symbol, I think. I think. Yeah. Chopper. <laughs> I'm sorry. Perfect. I know that's supposed to be a serious moment, but. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Yeah. Oh, good job. Good job. She left us of something, a parting gift, so that must be it. Oh. Leon, this is proof. evidence that proves Simmons' guilt. Yes. Which means it will prove Mine. your innocence. Right. Our innocence. I don't need it. Lena. Hunnigan. Good news, Leon. We found a way to defeat the virus. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Copy that. We're on our way back. See you soon. Let's go. Come on, Leon. Leon, don't linger. Stop lingering. Even though I love watching you game. It's a sexy linger. Yes. It is a very sexy linger. 
Okay, now we know we won't crash because uh, I'm flying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <sighs> was intense. Yeah. So, um, what are your, now that we just beat the campaign, what's, what's going through your mind? What are your, what are your thoughts? I, I'm, I have no words. I absolutely love that campaign. It was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. As, as go ahead. It had a good feel. It had a good atmosphere. Uh, had some great chapters. Mm -hmm. And me, as I said in the initial videos of my uh, of this let's play I did say that I did favor the classic uh, survival horror Resident Evil games and while this definitely was very you know action shooter heavy it still yeah. it still was I, I had an awesome time it was so <laughs> much fun I love the puzzles I loved um, that you know just just the fact that there were actual zombies instead of Exactly, you know. and I had a lot of neat, fun little throwbacks to like right. Resident Evil 2 and Ex the classic style of Resident Evil. Exactly. Um, it had a very good nostalgic feel. Mm -hmm. And um, I was... Th the, the only um, cri critique that I have, negative critique that I have for it, is that I was looking forward to actually teaming up with Chris and Piers. I know. I, I would have thought that they would have at some point, you know, had, like yeah. battled a boss or something, but we we didn't really get to do that. I mean, we teamed we up. We have an encounter with them, but beyond that, it's, you know. Yeah, we, we did. Um, I mean, we teamed up with Sherry and Jake, and we teamed up with Ada a lot, but I guess that's fitting yeah. for Leon's campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, it's... As I said before, I think it's really neat having the perspective um, after starting with Jake and Sherry and moving on to yeah. this campaign. You know, just learning about the president, learning about clone Ada, or mm -hmm. sh should I say, red Ada. Red Ada and purple Ada. Which, makes, which then begs the question, is the quote-unquote good Ada the original or the clone? You know, or like, are they both clones? Or were they? Oh, that's this, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe they're both clones, this, and the original died. This this just makes me want to play the Ada next so badly. Mm -hmm. But I but at the same time, I feel like I really want to leave her for last because I think yeah. I think she was meant to be last, even though the recent patch allows you the ability to start her at any point. I think I'm gonna at least for this LP start with start with doing her campaign last. Yeah, I think because I'm so excited for it, I'm going to leave it for last. It's going to be like the icing on the cake. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm very intrigued. I always liked Ada's character, and I love how she's so coy, and she's such... She's so <laughs> manipulative. It's... She really does remind me of, um, you know, the most recent... She does remind me of Anne Hathaway's Catwoman in the most recent Batman yeah. series. Well, yeah, it's... She's... She's just a great character, and um, the chemistry between her and Leon is just... You never know what what's going to come between the two of them, because they've got such a unique relationship, or lack that No, they definitely have a relationship, it's just... What do you call it? <laughs> it's... I don't... <laughs> there's, there's no word for it. It's... Um... I liked Helena. I thought she was a good character. Yeah, I did like her. I think that if I had to choose between... If I had to pick, you know, a new person to be the next, like, the next main character, as in, like, the next Claire or Jill Valentine or Chris or Leon, I think so far I'm still leaning more towards Sherry or Jake than I am to Helena. Yeah. Just because, I mean, Helena is interesting and all, but I don't think that she... I feel like her story's been told. 
whereas exactly she doesn't have us like these ties to the overall franchise and in a sense that the other two characters do you know one's the son of wesker yeah. and the other one was in resident evil 2 so they've already got that yeah connection to the existing characters and the existing right. story yeah exactly i mean she feels a lot like sheva or shiva in mm -hmm. resident evil 5 and carlos i think in resident evil 3 yeah. You know, people that they threw in just so that you could have, and Billy Cohen in Resident Evil Zero, people that they yeah. throw in just so you can have a partner, but I don't know if they're intended to be, you know, really true main characters in the RE6 universe. Yeah. But um, so far, I think that both Jake and Sherry lend themselves well to reappearing again in a future Resident Evil game. Exactly. Uh, I think and I think that's why they made uh, a good campaign together because mm -hmm. despite them being newer characters, you could put them together and because they had such importance, it worked. Yeah. Whereas, you know, a character like Helena needed somebody who had a strong foothold in the series already to kind of exactly. carry them. Yeah. You, you are absolutely, absolutely correct. Um, oh, Simmons. <laughs> Simmons! Man. Oh, that man. I, I am. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna repeat this again. I am so glad that we did Leon's campaign after Sherry's and Jake's because <laughs> it's it's cool to begin the experience thinking that Simmons is on your side and thinking he's evil yeah. as Sherry and finding out there's more to it. There's more <laughs> to him, and you only get a glimpse of it. You only get a hint of it in Jake's and Sherry's campaign, and you don't exactly. quite. And then, yeah. You don't quite get the full gravity of what he did until you play Leon's campaign. Yeah, exactly. Um, but looking ahead, we already talked about Ada. Looking ahead to Chris and <clears throat> Hot Smash Pierce. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am intrigued by... I, I guess I'm intrigued by the events that led up to Purple... No, yeah, Purple Ada's death. Mm -hmm. I, I'm intrigued to know what happened when Leon and, and Chris had split up mm, and Chris had went after Ada. I want to yeah. know kind of what happens there. I don't I don't think that Chris killed Ada. Like, I don't think I, so either. Because I'm pretty sure that um, Chris respected what Leon told him despite, you know, Chris. Yeah, he'd, he'd have kept his word. He would have kept his word knowing Chris, um, especially since it's Leon. Um, but I thought it was really cute that even though they had that standoff together, by the end of, by the chapter five, you could tell that Chris not only respected Leon, but he cared about the guy, you know? Exactly. They really are like bickering brothers. And they I, are like bickering brothers completely. Yeah, and I love that, I love that dynamic between the two of them. Yeah. Um, I like that them being like the two main male focal points of the series, that they don't always get along because you mm -hmm. can't expect them to always get along. Right, and they are so, as you had pointed out again, their personalities are very opposite. Yeah. But their goals are the same. As Leon said, Chris, we both want the same thing here, if you remember Exactly. Um, and, you know, it's just nice to have... I think that's why Leon... The problem with Leon and Ada is he keeps thinking that him and Ada want the same thing. But you and I both know that there's always some ulterior... He's... He, Leon is, when it comes to Ada, Leon is a whole pile of gullible. Yes. But I love him for it. Uh, yes, I love him for I mean, uh, for for you especially, Shally, it's nice to know that there are awesome men like Leon who can be wrapped around a woman's finger. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Because Lord knows, as, as I've said before, if... No matter what Piers ends up being like, I feel like he'd wrap me around his little finger. <laughs> <laughs> no matter um, what he ends up being like, he's, he, yeah. his character's already sold. Yeah, I think I think Piers is gonna be an interesting character, and I'm looking mm -hmm. forward to to playing his his campaign with Chris. Oh, me too. So, but um, but yeah. Uh, oh gosh, there's so many names, so many th people that Bravo Capcom, just Bravo on this and all these other people that worked <laughs> on this this series. Really quickly though, Shally, between this one and Jake's campaign, which one do you favor? It's... Uh, I uh, love the characters in all of them. I have to say this one. I think out of every single campaign, 
like in every single chapter that I've played so far, chapter four of this campaign mm -hmm. was by far my favorite. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because it's the first one that I played, but I think I'm slightly, very slightly more partial to Sherry's and Jake's. I might be partially more partial to this one, I think, also because of the nostalgic feeling I got. You mean you're, you mean you're more you partial know. to this because of Leon? Well, yeah, probably on, but <laughs> <laughs> also because it's it's very reminiscent of because I got into the series with Resident Evil too, so it's as did got I got that nostalgic feel for me. Yeah, as did I. Oh, Aww. yeah. Oh, Deborah, rest in peace. She's twenty-one. Well, it's time for me to take responsibility. <laughs> Thank you. I'm ready. Oh. Mm. I think it was her choice. Yeah. Yeah. She didn't want... Oh. Oh! What? But I assisted in the attack. The investigating commission have reviewed the evidence and feel it unjust to hold you liable for Simmons' crime. They will also not be disclosing their findings to the public. But... The president would have done the same. All right. Shall we go join the team? Leon. Mm. For the next time you see her. Aww. Aww. That's so sweet. Women. <laughs> <laughs> we know, Leon. We know. Uh, that was sweet. Oh, that was a sweet ending. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I like how um, the I love how the um, design of the ending was just so was complete opposite of the rest of the campaign because it was all it was bright and sunny and green mm -hmm, and, yeah. and shiny and it was all happy. So it was just a complete 180 of the um, of the mood from the rest of the campaign where it's all dark and scary and stuff. Yep. I'm happy that um, the game ended with Helena being free after they told the truth. Like, mm -hmm. she insisted, I'm sure she insisted that Leon tell the truth and not try to cover up what she yeah. did. And this even, even I'm Even despite her coming forward with her responsibility in it, they were like, well, you can't be held accountable for what? Exactly. Because she had her, they had her sister, they held her sister hostage, mm -hmm. and I think whatever, I think she's been punished enough by the death of her sister. Like, yeah. that, losing her sister would be worse than even a life sentence, I think. Because, I mean, now that she's gone, now that her sister's gone, she already has a life sentence. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, um, but yeah, I, I guess, um, I think that's all I've got on my, I think that's all I have to say. Do you have any other last thoughts or comments, Shally? My we... last thoughts and comments are, this was amazing, and I have to thank you for bringing me along for the ride. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I, I knew from the beginning that, um, uh, playing this with you would be so much fun, and I'm I'm glad that we um, had the opportunity to play off of each other because I, mm -hmm. I feel that I feel it work, and who knows, maybe we'll team up again in the future. Definitely. And <laughs> squeal over boys and get scared <laughs> out of our wits. <laughs> yes. Again. Guys, if if you have not yet done so, please, please, please check out Shally's channel. 
She's got some really great stuff. Um, pretty much the type of games that she's into are the same as the games that I'm into. Bioware games and a lot of other stuff. Um, she's so... she's great and um, definitely, in my opinion, one of the very best female gamer LPers out there. If not, one of the best LPers out there. <laughs> Thank so, you. So please do. Um, I will be sure to put a link down so you can check her out and um and yeah uh i would really appreciate it okay all right shally well i guess we're gonna have to go end this and mm -hmm. for the rest of you out there we are only halfway through if you can believe it just halfway through this game because we still have chris and piers and ada and whoever her partner is because i don't even know who her partner is they just added they just added a co-op partner for her so I guess we'll find out at a later time so any anything you want to say before I si sign off Shally no okay. I had fun I'm glad to have done this with you okay. and I look forward to following the rest of the LP perfect all right folks you know the drill thank you so much and until next time love yourselves and love each other bye everyone